What's going on everybody? Patrick here with a new video on the Young Chug YouTube channel. Today we are gonna be breaking down one of my favorite songs ever. This is from Gojira's 2008 album, The Way of All Flesh. This is none other than Toxic Garbage Island by Gojira. Shout out to anybody who checked out my last video um, for breaking down map change by Every Time I Die. I'd like to thank uh, Lucas Neves for actually requesting this one. Thank you so much. There are other tabs available for this song online. I kind of just made my own based on how I play it. And um, it's all available in the description. There'll be a tab in the video as well. This whole album, The Way of All Flesh, came out in 2000 freaking eight. It's one of the greatest metal mixes I think I've ever heard. I can go on and on about this. <laughs> Most of the songs on this album are in drop C. So, or in D standard. So I have a guitar set up to drop C for this. To get to drop C from E standard, tune your guitar down an entire step. Um, so it'll be in D standard. Then tune just the lowest string down another full step so that it's in C. And it reads uh, C, G, C, F, A, D. Let's get into the song and actually start breaking it down. So this song uses a variety of techniques throughout the song. Um, different parts during the riffs. Uh, so I'm just gonna list them out here so that, that way you have them all kind of laid out right at the beginning here. So the first one that I can think of is per uh, percussive left hand muting. So that kind of sounds like this. That when I'm muting it, it sounds like this. When I'm not muting it, it sounds like this. There's no particular pitch involved here. Then you have left hand natural harmonics. More on that later, but that's kind of like, you know, that sort of thing. Pinch harmonics. Um, fast slides that need to be accurate, so that's, we'll talk about that later. Bends, um, usually in combination together with a pinch harmonic. And as well, alternate picking. And as well, tremolo picking. Um, palm muting chords. Ultimately, left hand muting is all throughout the song. We are really focused on like particularly controlling the left hand to mute notes at the right timing. So that way you're not hearing certain notes when they're not supposed to be played. This song goes between 4-4 four, four and 6-8 time signature. Um, 4-4 four, four being 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-4, we hear it all the time. 6-8 is basically 3-4, but counted differently. 1-2-3-4-5-6, 1-2-3-4-5-6. -6. Different parts for that. For this song, um, or for this demo actually, I'll be using Neural DSP Archetype Gojira. I use the JD Rhythm 2 preset um, for pretty much any song on The Way of All Flesh, because it kind of sounds like that. So going into the intro of this song, we start this song with this repeating riff for 16 bars. Um, the riff starts with this kind of strumming pattern where we are alternate picking the lowest three strings on the guitar. When I'm not palm muting the string and I'm striking the C, the G, and the other C string, it sounds like this.
And with this, you're also palm muting it at the same time. So all together, it sounds like this. And I'm pretty much using your entire hand on the fretboard, just hovering it on these frets here. And notice here that we're not fully depressing the strings. We're not, because it would play an entire note. We want no particular pitch. So it's, yeah. You could also play it like this. But I choose to use the uh, kind of muted percussive notes because that's what I hear, to be honest. I'm applying this much pressure. Just barely hovering my fingers over the strings. Uh, not so much that it'll play a natural harmonic, not so much that it will play a natural note, but just enough that it will like that. So all together, we have this sound. Now we are gonna play the next note is gonna be us barring. I'm basically not moving my hand at all. As you can see, my pinky is already here. And the next note I need to play is gonna be basically barring the bottom four strings, but only ringing out this C, this F, and this uh, shit. <laughs> A string. This A string. <laughs> so when you play this all together, what you end up getting is. So then we have this um, kind of open into one, the first fret chuck, where you have a dotted eighth note and then a regular eighth note. The first note lasts just a little longer than the. Um, lasts actually 1.5 times as long as the second beat there. And then we have this dissonant chord where I'm playing the fourth fret on the G string and the open on the C at the same time. I honestly couldn't tell you if I played this with my middle finger, like basically middle finger. Let's see if I can show you this. Like using my middle finger here. Or with my pinky here but whatever is the most accurate because what you want to make sure is that both of those notes ring out at the same time uh, because you're aiming for that dissonant chord altogether we have so far this much and basically this will repeat four times that that entire section for an entirety of eight bars and then we get into this part where it's um you have this slide from the first fret all the way to the 18th fret and then you play some alternate pick notes there and come back down we go back into the same exact uh, ending of that riff for the second bar and we instead of doing the open we're doing so that we are basically replacing the dissonant chord with a um, pinch harmonic these pinch harmonics are pretty tough to do because they're on the lowest strings. Um, what I can recommend is that I get this tone basically through experimenting. If you were to play the pinch harmonic down here, closer to the bridge pickup, it sounds like not quite right. And then you play it closer to the neck pickup, it sounds a little too deep. So when you play it right between the two pickups right here, my pick lands right here. I get the proper tone that I'm looking for. But then the outro of this, this we basically have the same exact pattern. The eighth, the eighth bar of this has a different ending. It goes like this. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm hitting the pinch harmonic this string is not bent as I play the pinch harmonic 
I'm bending the string. Then I go back around to this. Then you hit the pinch harmonic, but what I'm doing here is I have the string already pre-bent. So here I have the string pre-bent. And I'm going to then play the pinch harmonic and bring it back. And then that goes into the next riff. Now the next riff is fairly simple compared to that like monstrosity of technique where it's literally like just have more 16 notes this open chord where it's open on the C open on the G and the second fret is depressed on the second C string this is the same chord that is used throughout the riff it just moves around the fretboard so whenever I play this I'll usually play it open 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 on the c the low c open on the g and then my middle finger is depressing the second g or second c string here then when i want to play on the first fret the same shape just basically move it up a fret i'm using my index finger to bar the entire fret the first fret and then i'm using my pinky finger to play that extension on the on the higher C string yeah so it kind of sounds like and I'm just sliding sliding back down it's super fun it's super easy it's a really good riff okay so we're still having fun in this song uh, the chorus is also fun also uh, good to get down. It's in six, eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. The goal with this riff is to play everything evenly with power and make sure that every note is heard for exactly how long they are meant to be heard. Proper muting is really key here.
I use the shape of uh, basically just open and then my index finger hits the three on the C. And then my middle finger is, or my third finger is always uh, two frets away on the fifth. Then I will just move that index finger down a fret and use my middle finger to play the third fret. And then shift that just a little bit down. I don't like to play it like this because that doesn't sound right. It's you have two separate fingers on both on the second fret, one on the C string, one on the G string. And then there's a point where you have slides as well, where you're just taking that index, you're taking that third finger and you're going with it. Keep in mind that the slides are not um, like, like it's got, you stay on that five a little bit. So that, that way you get like a more of a, like a groove into it. That's pretty much it for this one. Not hard, but very groovy. Okay, so now we are back in four, four time signature. Uh, we are back to pretty much the exact same as the intro riff, except on this one, instead of doing the normal we are instead going to go with the alternate picking. So you just have to hit these open strings. It's the, the, uh, sorry, the higher C, the F and the A string, the D string does not ring out. Um, now we get into the, what I call the bridge. These are 16th notes all throughout. It's a start and stop rhythm pretty much. There's some rests that are always in the same place almost. It definitely really helps to know the song with this one to practice it. The way you strike the string as your alternate picking makes a difference. Make sure that you are getting the right sounding palm mute out of it and that your 16th notes sound even. If you start feeling tension creeping in, try to just relax, like focus on whatever muscle is really causing the tension and try to relax that. And then hopefully you can get a better form out of that. This is a 16 bar section. And at the end of the 16th bar, we are changing to a 17, 16 time signature where we have one extra 16th note compared to a, a four, four time signature. And you have just this ending of really cool then we get back into the chorus it's the exact same as the first chorus there's no difference here i'm not going to bother explaining that again because it's the same then we get to the tension riff which i i call this the tension part where we have this whole tremolo picking riff 
and 4-4. Four, four. These are all 30 second notes, or at least we're trying to approximate that. If you're not exactly on beat, um, like where you're kind of losing it, like... Like, just try to get as fast as you can as possible. Try not to let your other fingers get in your way. Noise the shit out of me. Now we look at the F part, the release section, where it's pretty much the same kind of rhythm, also in 6-8. Probably the easiest riff in the whole section. You can play around with that as you like, but make sure that every note is hit strongly and sounds out as it should. And actually at the end of this F section, there's some funky time signature things happening. Uh, the best thing I can say here is to just repeat this one and get the feel of it down. If you don't know the song, then listen to the song and that'll help you a lot. Then we go into the intro section one last time. So this is a little bit different. It's a little bit of a change in the intro riff where we're still having to deal with that nasty pre-bend um, pinch harmonic. All right, guys, so that covers how to play 
Toxic Garbage Island by Gojira. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, if you could leave like a comment or anything, letting me know how this went for you, uh, or a like if you appreciated the video, or if you found it helpful, share it with anybody who else, uh, who you think also might want to learn this song, or might find it useful. It took me a long time to put this together because of how complex this song was to break down and really like get into all the nitty gritty of the techniques. Um, other than that, I'm looking forward to making more content and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you'd like to see me break down a specific song, let me know in the comments down below.